Good afternoon, Anton Kaminsky for Kaminsky Law. Today we're going to talk about mechanics liens. This is a tool by contractors and subcontractors that is used to make sure that they get paid for their projects. Before we start talking about mechanics liens, let's talk about some of the basic terms. First and foremost, I don't want to talk about a searchable project today. That is a big project. It's more than $1.5 million typically, and it's got a whole different separate process that's associated with it. We're dealing usually with contractors and subcontractors that are small businesses that are doing $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 jobs, and for whatever reason, the person for whom they did the work decides not to pay them. Couple more definitions. Number one, the owner. The owner is the person that actually owns the property on which the work is being performed. That is the person that may or may not have been entering into a contract. Number two, a contractor. That is typically the person that enters into an agreement with the owner for certain work to be performed on the project. So when you think installing windows, doing floors, doing a new kitchen, you're typically hiring a contractor. A contractor can also include an architect or an engineer. These are typically people that contract directly with the owner and have some sort of deal uh, to perform certain work for the owner. Number three. There is a subcontractor. The subcontractor has a contract with the contractor, not with the owner. They have most likely and usually not dealt directly with the owner and have only dealt with the contractor. In order to file a mechanics lien as a subcontractor versus a contractor, different rules are going to apply. It is important to determine whether you are a subcontractor on a project or a contractor. And the best way to know that is, did you or did you not enter into an agreement with a contractor or did you enter into an agreement with the owner of the property? Last important definition, completion of work. The completion of work is the time when either the last materials or the last substantial piece of work is delivered to the property. So if you, let's say you do a kitchen and you finish the cabinets, you've brought all the materials onto site, you finish the cabinets, for the most part, there might be a few little touch-ups left. It's not when the touch-ups are done, it's when the actual cabinets are substantially complete. That is the term completion of the work.